channel so today i'm going to make some banana muffins so here's our ingredients so there is some salt baking soda baking powder three eggs four bananas uh three of them is really overripe which is perfect a stick of salted butter three cups of all-purpose flour uh two cups of white sugar and then one cu half cup rather half cup of cooking oil so we're gonna make some delicious banana muffins for breakfast so we put our bananas here and i'm going to smash it and but not completely pureed it i like to have still have a textures of banana when you eat your muffin you know you can taste it the banana so this is kind of a chunk so i don't want to be like really pureed okay so our banana again they still have a lot of um a good size of chunk so this is good. And then we're gonna add, next, we're gonna combine all the um, wet ingredients, okay? So we're gonna add our milk. No, I'm sorry, not milk. Let me refresh the eggs, rather. Okay. Then I'm gonna add the a stick of salted butter. And then a half cup of um, oil, okay? So a uh, cooking oil. Then we're gonna mix this really well. Okay, as you can see here. Next we're going to add is our baking soda, baking powder, and our salt mixed again. Okay, next we're going to add our sugar. You need to just add kind of gradually. Okay, this is how I make my muffin. So add more sugar, all of that, continue mixing. If you're not using your electric mixer, if you use manually, it's really, really important that you are going to continue mixing at least two minutes to make sure the sugar, it's really, it's um, mixing to the other wet ingredients, okay? Then we're going to start putting our flour gradually. You don't want to be make so much mess in your counter. Okay, so just mixing it. Then add more. Mix, continue mixing. Okay, so we're going to the rest of our flour. Continue mixing. Okay, so I think this is done. Okay, next I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, so here's my muffin baking um, baking pan. And so what I did, I put some uh, cooking oil on it to prevent sticking your muffin to the bottom. Okay, so next we're going to do is we're going to use our measuring cup to pour transfer to our muffin tray. This is the easiest way to prevent making so much mess when you transferred your butter to your muffin tray or even cake tray. So, okay, then we, it's a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to that. To eliminate a lot of messy in your counter. Okay. There you go. In some of it, I put too much, so I'm going to remove some of it, guys. Because, you know, we're allowed to um, more enough room when our muffin is rising, when we're baking. We're going to bake this for uh, 30 minutes because this is a really big muffin for 350. So I'm going to pour more here. Okay.
Okay, again, we're gonna bake this for 350 for 30 minutes because this is a really big, um, it's large muffin tray. So, again, you're gonna do this. So, stay tuned. 